All right, continuing with the new series. What be in this? Who that? And who that? We'll be in this. We'll be in this. Don't rip this off, buddy. Leave that. So, this is supposed to sit on the thing like this. You know, when the grill's closed. And I just see this as a area where water is just going to go right in. And along these edges. This thing is supposed to be facing down. All the water is going to go in. It is not rubber sealed there. I wonder if this button is rubber sealed. And I wonder, oh my God, it is so bright in my eyeballs. So, let's uh, do will be in this. Will this survive being outside? It's supposed to be outside with your grill. Or is everybody's grill like covered? And I don't mean with a cover because the covers are even dumber. Covers don't last the winter. Well, I suppose... If you don't live where it snows, your cover will last. But otherwise, covers don't last more than a season. As soon as they freeze up, it's just, it's just game over. Oh, good. At least this fits in here. So we got six screws holding this puppy shut. get wet get rain directly on and the rubber flapper is going to fall right the hell off that just that just opened itself so the rubber the rubber is like I got all the screws, right? Oh. Derp. I said there's six screws. Well, at least in my head I did when there's actually seven. Man, why'd I turn that light on? I'm freaking blinded now. That's why I didn't see that. I done blinded my cells. Huh. Okay. Well, still. Well, here's the button. Crap, I wish I, had a, wish I had a flashlight so I can look at this. Oh, I was trying to be a smart ass. Damn. Damn it. Okay. 30. Alright, that is not sealed. So that button is not sealed. Um, that button is not sealed. Water coming onto this edge doesn't really do anything except into these hinge holes. So, what would you do? Would you put saran wrap over this button so that when you put this cover on there, it would be sealed? And then, how are you going to seal those holes? Why do they even make those holes? What was the point of those holes? Jesus, so you can pull that up. Huh. So these two square holes, and then obviously the screws. The screws will hold most of the water out, but they're not going to hold up that long. Let's see, the battery compartment. Okay, you got a leak right there. That you could seal up with like hot glue. And you got two leaks right there at the bottom. So hot glue gun, hot glue gun. Um, I don't know how you would seal up those two squares. I suppose you could do a hot glue gun and jam, jam something down in there so the hot glue leaves a hole for these things to go in. Otherwise, this, this is not going to, this is not watertight. 
and the button the button is right on the circuit board that's where your direct leak is so <sighs> that's what in this what in this what in this what be in this bro what be in this so these these springs are gonna just corrode off but yeah this is not going to this is not going to survive a couple seasons because that button is going to leak water right on here and it'll eventually probably corrode this button and make the button turn on kill your batteries and all that stuff so I'm going to call this an indoor only light you yeah. know And anyway, why would you be putting a light on your grill? You know, your, your, your grocery cart grill. You just turn the car lights on or the, the back door light or something. You know, well, 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 you know. Hey, buddy. Crackle, crackle. All right. That's what's in this.